Greetings and welcome to Careful Conversations. My name is Jane Barton and I serve as the Caregiving Ambassador for AARP, the sponsor of this program. And I want to thank you for stopping by to check out some important information about the journey of caregiving, caregiving from the inside out. In 2014, the Elizabeth Dole Foundation published a research project on the unique aspects of caring for a veteran in our country today. And the uniqueness is predicated on the demographics as well as the required care. So today I want to give an overview of military caregivers in our country and highlight the differences as well as the commonalities. Now we know currently there are 5.5 million caregivers serving veterans, either from before 9-11 or after. So we have very different demographics for those two groups and different challenges, which we will highlight shortly. Of the 5.5 million military caregivers, 1.1 are caring for veterans who served after 9-11. Now the typical veteran caregiver is a woman. In fact, that's 97% of the population, much higher than caregivers in the civilian population. And those individuals are typically caring for a life partner. Now the implication of that is that the caregiver and the care receiver are living together, which means more hours of care and more hands-on care. We also know for the younger veterans, 25% of those individuals are being cared for by their parents. Now that also poses a tremendous challenge, succession planning, because what happens if the parents predecease the veteran? There has to be a plan for someone else to assume the responsibilities of care. We also know that 41% of military caregivers are between the ages of 18 and 54. But if you focus in and you drill down a little more closely, Looking at the military caregivers that are serving vets post 9-11, that's an even younger population, 18 to 30. And that poses some very interesting and daunting challenges. The younger caregivers are caring for younger veterans, and those veterans are typically challenged by some mental health concerns such as PTSD, depression, and anxiety and the duration of care is expected to be incredibly long, maybe decades. Now the Elizabeth Dole Foundation initiated a campaign in 2012 called Hidden Heroes to highlight these challenges, to shine the spotlight on the journey of military caregivers, and also to establish a national registry so the caregivers could be connected to needed services. Now why was there that focus? Well, there is a tremendous need, and oftentimes military caregivers do not self-identify as a caregiver. And so they're reluctant to ask for help or to seek help. And certainly the services that need to be customized for that unique experience were not readily available everywhere. So we need to develop and create resources for military caregivers specifically and empower them to seek those services, whether it's respite care, having mental health or physical care for the caregiver, encouraging self-care, and connecting caregivers together in support groups. We also need to create the caregiver-friendly environments for the caregivers of veterans, because oftentimes they have a higher level of absenteeism. We need to expand services to include extended family and friends that are helping veterans, and also to increase access to respite care. Now we also need to help veterans and their caregivers plan for the future. Because this is a long duration and very unique indeed, we need help with succession planning, we also need coordination of care, and encouragement for preventative care for the care providers. So there are a lot of challenges and we will review some of these specifically in the next video. So I hope you will tune back in. Until then, if you have questions, please check out the AARP Caregiver Resource Center or my website, Cardinal LLC. And until we meet again, I hope that you will take good care and remember to enjoy the moment.